Look at the state you're in. This is what you get for being a criminal. I almost feel sorry for you. Sorry for me? You have no idea what's coming, do you? I'm gonna make you regret every single word you've ever said to me. You've been mocking me quite a lot for the past year, but I've had enough. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna break out of prison? You've been saying that you're gonna escape for a year now and look at you. You're still here. Still inside this jail cell. This is the best prison in Brookhaven. You're never getting out of here. Never. So you can forget about seeing your Zoe. Three. Why are you counting? You're gonna be here longer than three years, buddy. I suggest you get comfortable. Think about your actions. Two. This is the last time we'll see each other, so remember me as the cop who arrested you. One. What happened? Power just went out. Oh, my nose! <laughs> you said this was the best prison in Brookhaven, huh? Now look, look carefully at what's about to happen. Every single prisoner here is going to escape, including me. And there's nothing you can do about it. What'd you do? I've been planning this day for a whole year, and you'll never find out what I did. Come on, guys. You know what to do next. Oh, I love you, Zoe. Nothing will ever stop me from seeing you again. Sleep while eating? <laughs> Wake up, honey. Ooh, huh? No, I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping. I was just enjoying my food. That's all. Oh, Zoe, I really should have taken a picture of you like that. It was so funny. Shut up, Jack. Whatever. I just really don't feel like going to school today. I'm really, really sleepy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sleep through every single class today. What about Jenny? Aren't you excited to see her? Whoa, yeah. But I'm more excited by the thought of going to bed and just falling asleep. <laughs> That's too bad, Zoe, because I won't let you do that. Your grades are going to drop if you keep missing classes. It doesn't really matter, Mom. It's not like her grades are ever going to be higher than mine anyway. I always get higher grades than her. <sighs> Jack? We get it, okay? You're smart. Quit showing off already. Fine, I'll stop showing off. Oh, wait, did I tell you that I'm the president of the student government in our school now? Just wanted to let you know that. We go to the same school, Jack. Your face is on every poster. <laughs> All right, come on, kids. Finish your food quickly. You're getting late. You don't want to keep Matt waiting too long, do you? He has kindly agreed to drop you both off at school every day ever since the incident with Zoe in the house. Matt is the sweetest person ever. I feel really ashamed whenever I think about how I suspected him of being a creep. I should have realized that I was being too harsh on him. It's all right, Zoe. We all make mistakes. At least you know how nice he is now. Yeah, the real creep was Trevor. Every time I go to get pizza from that place, I always remember him. I would have never suspected that he would turn out to be such a creep. I hope he's having a good time in prison now. I'm 
sure he is. He has a lifetime sentence in jail, so he's never getting out. I just get really worried sometimes. What if he escapes one day, Jack? He escaped last time, right? So what's stopping him from escaping again? Then we'll just ask him out to deal with him like he did the last time. Simple as that. Don't worry, Zoe. Jokes aside, I don't think he's ever escaping again, Zoe. He got placed in one of the best prisons in Brookhaven. And since he escaped in the past, I'm sure the cops took every necessary precaution to make sure they don't repeat their mistake again. So we will never see Trevor again. Ever. <sighs> I guess you're right. Maybe I'm just overthinking like Jenny always does. Anyways, I'm done with my food now. Let's go. Zoe! like that. It's not funny. Did Jack put you up to this? <laughs> Matt really loves pulling pranks on you, but I honestly don't blame him. Your reactions are always the funniest. Anyways, I just wanted to ask if you're ready to leave for school now. I'm getting late for work, so we should leave right now. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, Jack. Maybe we should give Zoe time to recover from that traumatizing experience. Zip it, Jack. Let's go. him and confess. We're only friends right now. I'm going to confess to him once I get to know him a bit better. Why not? You've had the biggest crush on him for a whole month now. You've always said you didn't like the boys in the school. But I guess Marcus is just special, right? <laughs> yeah, he really is. He's just different from everyone else. Zoe, there you are. I was looking for you. You were a bit late for school today, weren't you? Yeah, I was really sleepy, so I couldn't finish my breakfast in time. I was only a few minutes late, though, so it's not that big of a deal. You didn't miss anything in class, so you're safe. Anyway, do you want to hang out with me on Roblox tonight? Just the two of us? Just the two of us? I mean, um, yeah, sure, of course. Let's go right now. <laughs> uh, right now? Uh, but it's not even night yet. Besides, we have a class in five minutes, Zoe. I'm thinking that we can play Roblox after 8 p.m. Does that sound good? <laughs> oh, gosh, you're right. Silly me. We're still in school and have classes to go to. My bad. What am I thinking? I'll see you in class, Marcus. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in class then. Let's hope you don't fall asleep in class. <laughs> Let's go right now. Oh my gosh, Zoe, you couldn't stop blushing. You're blushing so much. Your face is completely red. It's still red. Marcus definitely knows you have a thing for him now. You really aren't good at hiding it. Ah, you're really annoying, Jenny, you know that? You really have to up your game if you want Marcus to like you back, Zoe. If you're always just stuttering and shy around him, then he's going to think you're weird and stop talking to you. You don't want that to happen, do you? Oh my gosh. Breaking news. The most 
secure prison in Brookhaven City was caught on fire yesterday night. The entire prison was up in flames and all the prisoners have escaped. Everything was burnt to the ground, but no prisoners were caught in the fire. This means that all the prisoners are at large and in the city. We have yet to receive updates about the cause of the fire, but stay tuned to find out more. Gosh, Zoe, isn't that the prison Trevor was locked up in? So it burnt down. <sighs> it's so scary. Did they talk about the prisoners? Uh, did Trevor oof in the fire? I don't know. No prisoners were caught in the fire. This means that Trevor is out there in the city somewhere. I'm scared. Jenny, he could be anywhere. I thought I didn't have to worry about him escaping from prison anymore. Uh, but Zoe, if he escaped, then you need to be really careful. What if he's the one who started the fire to escape from prison? Or what if he made use of the fire as an opportunity to escape from prison? Or what if this fire was his plan to escape from prison all along? He waited a year to escape, so what if... Jenny, please stop talking or I'm going to tape your mouth shut. You always worry too much. Let's just go back to class now. Where, where am I? Ryan, you're finally awake, thank God. We couldn't find any more survivors from the prison. All the other guards sadly couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, the prison. It was on fire. It's a miracle that you managed to survive that fire, Ryan. How'd you do it? Oh, it was a really close call, but I jumped out from the roof of the prison right before it exploded into flames. I think I broke my leg, but as you can see, I've also got a few burns on my arm. But what matters is that I survived. We need to get Trevor back in jail. He was the one who planned everything. The fire. Okay, you need to rest as much as possible right now. I'll ask you for a more detailed explanation later, but for now, just give me a quick summary of what happened. If Trevor was behind this, how did the fire start? Did all the prisoners get caught in the fire? What is Trevor planning? Prisoners, they all escaped. <laughs> What are you talking about? The prisoners escaped? Like I said, Trevor, he was the one who planned everything. I don't know what he did, but he managed to bypass the security of the prison and cut all the power. All the lights went out, the security locks of the jail cells turned off, and all the prisoners were able to escape. They overpowered all the guards and put the entire prison on fire before they escaped. Remove any remaining evidence. But unfortunately for them, I managed to survive. And every single prisoner is on the most wanted list, including Trevor. There's a reason they were put into maximum security like that. If all of them have escaped, then we need to send a warning to the entire city as soon as possible. Everyone needs to be on high alert. God, what was that? Attention officers, we're under attack! I repeat, we're under attack! Requesting backup now! And there's more important news that I need delivered to the media! Right away! Zoe, I thought you'd be with Jenny tonight. Nope, I decided to hang out with Marcus on Roblox tonight. Jenny was really paranoid as usual, so I don't want to talk to her right now. Speaking of Marcus, how is he? Is he a good boy? Yes, he is really nice. We always have a great time together. It's really fun spending time with him. I love playing on Roblox with Marcus, so I have someone else besides Jenny that I can hang out with now. So, when are you going to confess to him? C confess What do you mean? Who told you that?
told me, Zoe, but you're really easy to read. I know you have feelings for him. In my opinion, you should confess to him as soon as possible. For another girl takes your spot, the longer you wait, the longer the risk of him finding another girl, and then you'll regret not confessing to him earlier. You understand? I guess you're right. It's just really hard. It takes a lot of courage and I'm scared that he doesn't like me back. That's how everyone feels when they're trying to confess to someone. It's nothing new. You just need to fight it, take the risk. You have a lot more to gain than what you have to lose. You can still stay friends with Marcus even if he doesn't want to date you. You're right. Well, kinda. Uh, I don't know. I'll try my best to confess to him in the coming days then. Who's that? Do we have a new neighbor? It seems like we do. Are you going to suspect him of being a creep too, Zoe? You're getting on my nerves, Jack. I'm not like that anymore. I think we should all go say hi to the new neighbor. Once he gets out of his car, then we'll all go. about this? Why didn't he tell me he was moving here? Come on, guys, let's go say hi. Oh, someone's definitely excited. I mean, I don't blame you. I'd be excited too if my soon-to-be boyfriend moved into the same area as me. I think they'd make a really cute couple too. Stop talking! Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, today's the day I'll have my revenge. I'll never forget what you did to me. Once I take care of you, Zoe is all mine. <laughs> Marcus! Hi, it's me, Zoe. Whoa, Zoe, you live here too? Wow, that's amazing. We live right next to each other now. I know, right? This is the best thing ever. Why didn't you tell me you were moving here? Okay, uh, so I didn't really know where you lived, so I didn't know that you lived here. I didn't tell anyone, actually. I should have told everyone at school yesterday. I'm just really happy you moved here. We can hang out so much more now. Don't let her come to your house yet, Marcus. She's probably going to inspect your room to try and find any illegal belongings or weapons to get you arrested. Huh? I'm confused. What do you mean? Gosh, Jack! Ignore him, he's always saying stupid things. So, Marcus doesn't know about the sus neighbor story, huh? She thought that her neighbor Matt was sus and a creep for the longest time. Don't let her do the same to you. Jack, don't you have somewhere to be right now? Oh my god, you're right! I have to get on Roblox today and hang out with my friends. Alright, see you later guys. It was nice meeting you, Marcus. All right then, Marcus. We'll help you move all of your stuff into your house. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, but there's no need for that. I can do it on my own. It wouldn't hurt to get some help now, would it? Come on, let us help. Uh, oh, uh, all right, sir. Matt, you scared him. I'm sorry, Marcus, but Matt always has that effect on people. I still don't know why this happens. I don't try to be scary. Guess it's just the default expression on my face. I'll go get something to help with the boxes. Wait right here. was 
the hut. My house. My house is on fire. Oh my god. Matt, are you okay? Your house... Your house is on fire. I'm gonna call 911 right now. There he is. Right there. That's our target. They're pointing at me. I'm their target. I have to protect Jack, Linda, and Zoe no matter what. Any last words, Matt? This is what you get for putting Trevor behind bars. Trevor? Oh no. Please, don't do this. <laughs> you should have never saved Zoe when Trevor came into her house that day, Matt. See you later. Put your hands in the air right now! It's the cops! How did they get here so fast? <laughs> you really think you can catch us that easily? We're the most dangerous criminals in town for a reason! You're never putting us back in a prison ever again! Never! This fire? <laughs> oh, this was just the beginning! We're gonna rob every single bank in Brookhaven and destroy every single prison! Then, we'll make Trevor the boss of this town and Zoe his girlfriend! We're gonna rule this town and there's nothing you'll be able to do about it! Oh my gosh, Trevor, is he back? in trouble. We have to do something. We have to save Matt. We're gonna put you back where you belong. Jail. There's nowhere to run now. Officers, handcuff them. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that won't work. Do it. Now. Escape again, Trevor! George, go after him! going on here. What did I just witness? Why were they targeting me? You're not gonna believe it, but listen, Trevor's escaped from prison. What? Ah, <sighs> that explains why they want Zoe to be Trevor's girlfriend. Um, who's Trevor? Brookhaven, that was all a part of Trevor's plan? Yes, Trevor planned all of that so that everyone would think that all the criminals in the prison died in the fire. That way, no one would suspect that Trevor and the others escaped. However, Trevor made the mistake of not finishing Ryan off himself. He thought there was no way Ryan would survive the fire, but he managed to escape just in time and deliver us the news that all those criminals escaped. Somehow found out that I was alive. Sent some of his criminal friends to get rid of me in the hospital. But me and George are able to safely escape and evacuate everyone else at the hospital too. 
It all makes sense now. I was the one that got Trevor when I saw him stalking Zoe at her house. I'm the one that got him arrested, so I guess he wants to take his revenge. Yeah, but that's not the worst part. His main obsession was Zoe, so he must be thinking of a way to get to Zoe and make her his girlfriend. So, from now on, you'll all be living in a separate safe house where you'll have maximum protection at all times. You're not allowed to leave the house at any cost. If you need food, water, anything at all, just ask the officers. But you absolutely cannot leave the house, is that clear? Yeah, but this isn't going to be fun, and we don't really have a choice, do we? Please catch Trevor at all costs, please! I want to stay with Zoe, too. I'm really worried about her. No, Marcus, you can't stay at our house. It's only going to put you in danger. Actually, Marcus is going to stay at your house, too. Since the criminals have seen what Marcus looks like when they attacked you, that puts him in danger, too. The criminals might come after him because they see him as a potential witness against them. That's why you all need to stay in the safe house where we can keep a close eye on you. We don't have any more time to talk, so let's get moving. We'll take you to the safe house, so stay there until the criminals are caught. This could take days, weeks, months, or heck, even years. We don't know, but this is the only way to keep you safe. Don't worry, Zoe. You'll be with me soon. I still remember your order like it was yesterday. Pepperoni pizza with stuffed cheese crust. And I'll make sure it's extra stuffed for you. It sounds like you're talking about an action movie or something! Trevor hired criminals to get rid of Matt! Those criminals destroyed Matt's house with a fire and Trevor escaped from prison and is trying to get revenge! Oh, this is really bad, Zoe! This is really, really bad! Really hope you're safe. Gosh, I'm so worried about you! I know it's hard to believe, but that's actually what happened. You can watch the news for yourself, too. The police officially reported that all the prisoners of Brookhaven's maximum security prison escaped during the fire, so the entire city is on high alert now. The police are sure that Trevor is going to come after me, and I don't blame them. I believe that, too. Ugh, why did Trevor have to be such a creep? I hate this! Zoe, I want you to call me every single day from now on, alright? You need to call me at least three times a day. I want you to tell me every little detail about everything in that safe house. I want you to tell me everything about how your day went, okay? If anything dangerous happens, you need to message me instantly! Alright, Jenny, I'll do my best. What do you mean, do your best? You absolutely have to keep me updated! You have no choice! Please try to understand, I'm really worried about- Oh my god, what was that? I think he's here. It's Trevor! Jenny, I'll call you back. Wait, Zoe, what? What's going on? Zoe! What's going on? What was that explosion I just heard? Is it Trevor? Did he find us? Oh, you don't gotta worry about Trevor, Zoe. We're just practicing with our grenades. Seriously? Ugh, don't scare me like that in the middle of the night. We're in the mountains right now, so you'll have to get used to sounds like that. Are you trying to announce to the whole world where our safe house is? What if Trevor finds out? Zoe, you look really worried. It's nothing, I'm just... This whole thing is taking its toll on me. I just want to go back home. This is all Trevor's fault. If only he wasn't a creep. I'm never eating pizza from that place again. Never. Their pizza is gross. I hate it. Well, if I'm being honest, their pizza is the best pizza in town. But I get what you mean. Don't worry, though. As long as I'm with you, you're going to be safe. I won't let anything happen to you. Thank you, Matt. I really appreciate it. 
Hey, Zoe, do you want to play some Roblox? Um, I'm not really in the mood right now. I can't stop thinking about Trevor and what he's going to do. I'm scared, Marcus. Come on, Zoe, you should spend time with Marcus. I told you, you don't have anything to worry about. Just enjoy your life and leave the security to the officers and me, all right? All right, then, if you say so. Ryan, there's something really important I need to talk to you about. It's urgent. Huh? What is it? We might be in danger. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Listen to me very carefully. I see Matt talking to the officer outside. It looks like everything's okay. Gosh, I'm already getting so bored, and it hasn't even been a day yet. Oh well, at least I don't have to do any work. I don't have to do the chores, cook any food, or even clean the house. These people do it for me. This is amazing, Jack. It's almost the perfect life. But I can't help but be really worried about Trevor. Besides, he isn't the only one that's escaped. All the prisoners escaped too. If he finds out that we're here, he might try to hurt one of us, or worse, he'll kidnap Zoe. I know you're worried, Mom, but we have cops watching our safe house 24-7. There is no way Trevor's getting inside the house without getting caught. Plus, this safe house is up in the mountains, so we'll be able to tell if someone's coming. Besides, we don't have to worry about any sus neighbors here, because we don't have any neighbors in the first place. <laughs> oh, Jack, I guess you're right about that. There's no one for Zoe to suspect this time. Plus, we have Matt. Exactly. Matt is the one that saved Zoe last time, after all. He can protect her this time, too. Breaking news! We have just received word that 20 banks in Brookhaven have been robbed and destroyed on the same day! Yes, you heard that right folks, 20 bank robberies in one day! The criminals simply come and go, and the police are unable to stop them! The criminals also leave a mark every time they perform a robbery, or any criminal activity! The mark is a box of pepperoni pizza that we're about to show you now on the TV! That's Trevor. He used to work at the pizza place, and that's what we always ordered. Three pepperoni pizza with stuffed cheese crust. It's creepy that he still remembers that. He's taunting the police. He's taunting us. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine, sweetheart. Just stay calm and don't worry. Huh? I'm getting a phone call from someone. Who is this? Hello? Who is this? Who am I talking to? What? Oh my god, I don't believe it. Wow, you really suck at Roblox, Marcus. I'm beating you in every game. You'll have to up your game if you want to keep up with me. <laughs> I'm just going easy on you, Zoe, because I know you want to win. But if I actually started playing seriously, you wouldn't stand a chance against me. Are you sure about this, Matt? I'm not 100% sure, but I trust my gut feeling. I'm going for it. Tell all of your officers to stand on guard. This could get ugly real quick. Zoe, Marcus, I need to talk to you both for a second. It's urgent. Um, I'm losing at Roblox right now, Matt. Can you please come in another five minutes? I'm kind of busy right now. Zoe, this is important. We might be in danger right now, so I need you to listen to me very carefully. What? We're in danger? What do you mean? Danger? What kind of danger are you talking about? First of all, I need to ask Marcus a really important question. Uh, oh, uh, all right then. What is it? Are you? And what did you do with Marcus? What? What are you talking about, Matt? I'm really confused. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're not the real Marcus. Matt, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean he's not the real Marcus? I've been friends with Marcus for a long time now, so I can recognize Marcus when I look at him. You can recognize him too, right? 
Zoe, have you really not noticed it? Marcus has been acting really different since he moved into our safe house, but that's not the main reason why I'm suspicious. Since I met Marcus, I've been paying close attention to him and I noticed that he's left-handed. If you looked at Marcus while you were playing Roblox with him, then you would have realized that he was playing Roblox with his right hand instead of his left. Isn't it suspicious that Marcus just suddenly became right-handed? Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Matt, I know you're really worried about protecting Zoe, but you're overthinking this. Just because I was playing Roblox with my right hand doesn't mean that I'm suspicious. I was just learning how to play with my right hand. It's a completely normal thing to do. Is that the best you can do? Do you remember the night when we helped you move in? When I saw you pick up the boxes, you picked them up with your left hand. Let's say you're the real Marcus. Then, should we ask Zoe whether you've been using your left or right hand when you were spending time with her? Zoe knows you better than anyone since you go to school with her. I have to say, you're not a really good liar. Now tell me, who are you? And what did you do to Marcus? Oh my gosh! I can't believe this! I am the real Marcus! I'm standing right in front of you! Have you all gone crazy because of Trevor? But Matt is right about you being left-handed, Marcus. I've known you for a long time. You've always been left-handed. Matt, maybe this is all just a big misunderstanding. Marcus is still here. He's standing right in front of us. Zoe, that isn't Marcus. That's Trevor. Trevor's standing next to you right now. What? Trevor? Don't you remember what happened last time? The reason the cops weren't able to find Trevor is because he had a plastic surgery operation. He looks different. If he can do it once, then he can do it again. He changed his face to look like Marcus because he somehow found out that you had a crush on him. Get away from him right now, Zoe. All right, that's it. I've had enough. You can't keep accusing me like this. Zoe, let's go. Matt? Matt, I, I, just, I just got a phone call. From who? From... from Marcus. What? Marcus called me from an unknown number and he says he's in real danger. He said someone kidnapped him and changed his own face to look like Marcus's face. <laughs> You're smarter than I thought, Matt, but it's too late now. What was that explosion? That wasn't a practice drill. Everyone, put your weapons down right now or you're not going to like what happens to Zoe right here. <laughs> please, please don't hurt my daughter, please. Don't you dare touch my sister! I'll make you pay if you do anything to her! Oh yeah? I'd like to see you try. Zoe is mine. All oh, mine! I won't let you take her from me! Trevor, listen! You don't have to do this! Oh, but I think I do. I have the entire city of Brookhaven in my fingertips right now. All the criminals work for me. Everything is under my control. No one can stop me from getting what I want now. Especially not Zoe. You see, I love Zoe more than anything. And she's going to be my prize. But if you try to stop me, then I won't hesitate to hurt Zoe. You wouldn't want that to happen now, would you? So put your gun down right now. All right, all right. I put my gun away right now. Matt, are you all right? No, oh, I've wanted to do that for a long time now, Matt. This is what you get. He's unconscious right now, Zoe. He can't hear anything you're saying. But you should say your goodbyes because this is the last time you'll be seeing him. Ah! I won't let you take my sister! Jack! Jack, are you alright? Stop, Trevor, stop! Please, leave them alone. I'll come with you. 
All right, let's have some fun, Zoe. You're coming with me now, and you're going to stay with me forever. <laughs> well, well, well. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I'm taking Zoe with me to the helicopter. And what are we going to do with the rest? Get rid of them however you want and burn the house down. No, don't do this. They're innocent people. about letting you go now. We can finally be together. But it's really cute that you think you can escape. I hate you. I never loved you, Trevor. And now you got rid of my entire family. What did they ever do to you? They're coming in the way of our love, Zoe. I can afford to let them find us. Besides, you don't need anyone else in your life except me. I'm the only one you should care about. I want you to think about me all the time and spend your time with me, all of it, and no one else. I love you, Zoe, and you love me too. I don't love you! You're a creep! You're nothing but a creep! I'll never love you! Never! You can forget about me loving you! Oh, eventually you won't have a choice but to love me. You're never gonna escape from here, Zoe. Never! You're gonna live the rest of your life with me now. Don't worry, though. It's gonna be a great life. Once I become the mayor of Brookhaven, I'll have all the power and all the money in the world. We can live in a really expensive mansion. I can get you anything you want. Anything in the world. I don't want to be with you. Just get me out of here. Get me out. Oh, you're really starting to annoy me now, Zoe. We don't like that. Remember what I said earlier. If you start annoying me too much, then I'm going to put you in here for a week. Looks like I have no choice. I really didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. No, no, Trevor, please. No, please, no, I'm sorry. Take her away. So, did you get rid of her family? Yeah, um, I think we did. You think? You think? What is that supposed to mean? I told you to bring their bodies to me as evidence, right? Where are the bodies? Well, we, uh, couldn't find their bodies, sir. We only found one. What? You couldn't find their bodies? You had one job, one job, you idiots! Whose body did you find? It was one of our men, sir. The men you assigned to get rid of everyone. But, sir, there's no way they survived. The entire house exploded. There's no way they could survive an explosion like that. I always have to do everything myself. I thought I could enjoy my time with Zoe now that everything's out of my way. You give me this news. Now find her family. Don't show me your face again until you bring her family to me. All right. So who wants to die first? Let me see. I'll start with the police officer. I hate cops, so this is gonna be fun. Ah! <sighs> who was that? Get out of that house right now. It's about to explode. Take the parachute. 
parachutes outside of the safe house and run to the mountains. Hurry up! We don't have that much time! Good to hear your voice again, George. Leave it to me! Bruh. I need help. I want each one of you to jump off the mountain with these people. They don't know how to use a parachute, so you're responsible for that. We have Matt unconscious in the room. Make sure he's out of here before the house explodes. What? Parachutes? Jump off a mountain? But how? I can't do that. We're definitely gonna fall to the ground if we jump off a mountain. Linda, think about your daughter. That creep kidnapped your daughter. Don't you want to protect her? I... but... You're right. We need to escape right now. Come on, let's go. awake i thought we lost you where am i what's going on where's zoe i don't see her anywhere we'll tell you that later for now you just need a rest all right he got her didn't he trevor kidnapped her that's what you're not telling me if that's true then i don't have any time to rest at all we need to go and save zoe guys i think we might have found out where zoe is huh where is she how did you find out well, it's a wild guess, but I think we'll be able to find her here. You said that Marcus called you and told you he was in danger, right? I was able to track the location of the phone he used to call you. It looks like they're in some abandoned basement right now. So, we know where Marcus is, and I'm pretty sure that Zoe's there too. Abandoned basement's the perfect place to hide everything and everyone important to these criminals. They're still in the city. All right, then, then that settles it. We're going to that abandoned basement. Let's go. Matt, you still need time to recover. You're not in good condition yet. I don't care. I could have saved Zoe if I had suspected Trevor sooner. Ah, this is all my fault. Don't blame yourself, Matt. You're the only reason we're alive right now. If you didn't alert us beforehand, we wouldn't have seen Trevor coming at all. He could have kidnapped Zoe without us knowing. She's right. As soon as you told me that Marcus might actually be Trevor, I immediately called George and asked him to bring all of his backup to the safe house. George ended up saving our lives. Only reason George was there was because of you, Matt. You're the only one that told me to call him and all the other officers. We won't be here right now if it wasn't for you. It's not over yet, though. Zoe's still out there and she's in danger. We need to save her. All right then, you can come with us, but you need to be careful because you still haven't fully recovered yet. Boss, we just found out that Zoe's family survived and they're all at a hospital right now. Officer Ryan survived too. What do we do, boss? <laughs> I should have seen this coming. Why don't you go and attack the hospital then? Get rid of them right now. They've already left now, boss. And they have the entire area in lockdown. It'll be much harder to get them this time as compared to the safe house. Why do I have to do everything myself around here? I need you to track them down right now. Yes, boss. Also, it seems I need to do plastic surgery again. I hate the face I have now. I'm disappointed by Zoe's taste and looks. I have no idea why she even fell for Marcus in the first place. I look so much better than him. I want to change my face to what it was before. Tell the doctors to come here right now. Yes, boss. Please come with me then. Someone comes and saves me. I don't want to live the rest of my life like this. Zoe, is that you? Your voice. I know that's you. Marcus! No way. Oh my gosh, Marcus! It's Zach! 
actually you! Zoe, there's a guy who has the same face as me, but he's not me. I'm the real Marcus. He changed his face to look like mine. He Don't worry, Marcus. I know everything. I know he's not the real Marcus. I don't know what's going on. Why did he do this? What does he have to do with you? He's he's a criminal that escaped from prison about a year ago. He was actually a really big creep, and he became obsessed with me. He started stalking me and even tried to kidnap me, but Matt was able to save me. His name is Trevor. He got arrested, but he managed to escape from prison again, and this time he's even creepier than before. He has a lot of criminals on his side. What a creep! I hate people like him. We need to think of an escape strategy. My entire family is gone, Marcus! He got rid of all of them! No way. Seriously? I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. I don't have any family left now. I have no one to go back to. Zoe, you still have me. And you have Jenny, too. We're here for you. We're going to escape this place no matter what, alright? I'm on your side. Don't worry. Thank you, Marcus, but how are we going to escape? I was able to steal someone's phone and call your mom, right? If I can do that, then I can figure out an escape strategy too. Right now, I have the advantage in that I look exactly like Trevor. So if I can find a way to get us out of here, then I can pretend like I'm the real Trevor. That's a great idea, but how are you going to get us out of here? Well, someone comes into this room every few hours to give us food, and they're always carrying a weapon. Just like how I stole a phone last time. Maybe I can get my hands on a weapon. But that's really dangerous, Marcus. What if they catch you? It's even more dangerous for us if we stay here, Zoe. It's worth the risk. What are you two talking about? If it's about escaping, then ha, you'll never get out of here. Anyways, the boss wanted me to give you two this. Pepperoni pizza with stuffed cheese crust. <laughs> and when was the last time you got out of here? Have you ever looked at yourself in a mirror? I feel like you haven't left this place in years. Sheesh, you're gonna scare people away with how scary you look. Huh? You better watch your mouth, kid. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Oh, come on. Don't be so angry. I was just telling you the truth. I bet the boss thinks the same about you. Maybe that's why you're stuck watching. Because he thinks you'll scare away everyone else. That is so sad. Oh, that's it, kid. I warned you, so don't hate me for this. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? That's our food. Not anymore. If you open that mouth again, then it's gonna get worse. So consider this your first and only warning. Marcus, are you all right? <laughs> I got the job done, Zoe. Take a look at this. Wow. So you were only making fun of him so that he could come close to you and then you could steal his taser? Yep, it was all part of my plan. Now, all that's left is getting out of here. He won't be back anytime soon, so if we want to escape, this is our only chance. Okay, Marcus, let's do this. All right, now, I want you to keep an eye on that door. There's got to be something here that can get us out without anyone catching us. Won't let Trevor get away with this. Now, I know how he was able to get away from the cops all this time. I think I found something, Zoe. There's a hidden button on the wall. A button? But wait, Marcus, why would Trevor keep us in a room that has a hidden button on the wall? If he knows that we're going to press it and escape, then why would he keep us here? I don't think this is a good idea. We just have to get out of here, Zoe. No matter what happens, just remember that I'll protect you. I'm going to press the button now. You learned your lesson, kid. Just check it up on you whether you learn how to respect you. The annoying kids escaped! I gotta tell boss! Get it, 
Nice. All right, Zoe, grab his walkie-talkie so we can keep an eye out on all the criminals. Come on, let's get out of here. So, what's going on here? Any suspicious activity around here? Uh, no, boss. It's all clear for now. Uh, anyways, why is the girl with you here? Isn't the girl supposed to be in her room? I can do whatever I want with her. She's my future wife. How dare you question me? I I'm really sorry, sir. I, I was just asking if- You can never question my actions, ever. If you question me again, I'll make sure no one in Brookhaven ever sees you again. You'll completely disappear from the face of this earth. Is that clear? Y yes, sir. Now, get out of my way. I need to take Zoe out for a nice romantic dinner. She deserves it after everything she's been through. I'm going to take her to the most expensive and romantic restaurant in town. So, you don't want to find out what happens when I lose my temper. You know what happens when I lose my temper, don't you? Yes, boss. I'll be right out of your hair. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's working. We're finally going to get out of here. Stop! That guy is not Trevor! He's Marcus! He's fooling you! Stop him! Run! Marcus, run! Come on! I was this close! Ugh, don't let them get away! No matter what you do, bring Zoe back here for the boss! We have to go to the police station, Marcus! We have to tell the cops! Let's go, Zoe! Don't look back! Where did they come from? How did they find us? Freeze! Put your hands up now! This isn't over yet. I won't let you take her. Where's Trevor? Is he in the hideout? Tell me, or you're gonna wish you didn't get arrested today. No, please, let me go. He's doing plastic surgery in the clinic room right now. He's in the hideout, I swear. Zoe, you're all right. Thank God. Oh my gosh, Matt, you're alive. That means Mom, you, Jack, you're all alive. I thought I lost you. Trevor said he got rid of all of you. It's gonna take more than that to take us down. I thought you'd know that by now. I'm so sorry for doubting you. Ryan, George, come with me. This better be good, because if I don't like the results of my plastic surgery, then I'm going to oof you right here, right now. I have a girlfriend now, and it's my job to look as handsome as possible for her. I want my face to be as handsome as possible for Zoe. Do you understand? If I even see a pimple on my face, then you will pay for it. Don't worry, Buzz. I'm sure you'll like the results a lot. Oh, look at me. I'm so handsome. Zoe's gonna fall for me instantly when she looks at me now. She won't be able to control herself. This is perfect. You did well, doctor. I'm happy. It's always such a pleasure doing business with you. Freeze! Put your hands up now! How did you find us? This can't be happening. No, 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 no. I won't let you take Zoe away from me. We already have Zoe with us. You're never taking her ever again. No, no, you give her back to me now. Zoe, Zoe. 
Zoe. God, what a creep. Still can't believe that he's been stalking Zoe all this time. Dodge, arrest them. 60 Avenue, 60 Avenue, the department 18. I'm going to escape again. Mark my word. You can't keep me here forever. I started a fire in the biggest, toughest prison in Brookhaven and made everyone escape. So what makes you think I can't do it again? You won't have the chance to do that. You know why, Trevor? Because you only have one more week to live. Enjoy your last few days while you still can. No, no, no that's impossible. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Zoe. How, how am I going to be with Zoe if, if I'm gone? You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Oh, yes, I can. You can continue crying in your cell. I got better things to do. No, 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 no. Zoe, 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 Zoe. Well, that was a crazy ride, wasn't it? It sure was, but we're all fine now. We're all here, and Trevor is behind bars. Marcus, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. You had nothing to do with this at all, but Trevor still kidnapped you. I got you caught up in this mess. It's all my fault. If something happened to you, I would never be able to forgive myself. I'm so sorry, Marcus. Don't worry, Zoe. Nothing happened to me. We're all safe, right? Besides, it wasn't your fault. This whole thing was Trevor's fault, not yours. I'm glad that I was there for you, Zoe. I'm glad that the creep who stalked you is behind bars now. We'll never have to see Trevor again, for good this time. Marcus, can I tell you something? I love you. I love you and I trust you and I've always had feelings for you. In fact, my feelings are even stronger now. What? You, you have feelings for me? Oh shoot, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you were gonna tell him soon anyway, right? So, it's fine if you just said it accidentally. But it's so embarrassing. <sighs> I have feelings for you too, Zoe. And I was going to tell you the day after we played Roblox together, but I wasn't planning on getting kidnapped. You like me too? Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes! Hey, <laughs> look at you lovebirds. Anyways, thanks for your cooperation, Matt. Glad you're all safe now. Me and George gotta continue our duties as cops, so we'll see you around. And remember, if you ever need any help, don't hesitate to call us. So, do you want to have our first date today? Right now? Right now? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> I did tell the bad guys at the basement that I was going to take you to an expensive and romantic restaurant, didn't I? So, let's make that happen, Zoe. Let's go to Astro Diner. It's even better than Space Diner. Astro Diner? Oh my gosh! I've always wanted to go there. It's the perfect place to have our first date. I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. I have really important duties to attend to as president of my school student government. Oh, right. Did I tell you I was the president of the student government? I don't think I did. Get lost, Jack. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go home now. It's been a long day. Enjoy your date, Zoe.